Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller and we're continuing on with creating our book uh, with modeling and texturing and UV mapping and laying out. We're pretty much doing everything uh, all in this one uh, tutorial here. So, I, uh, at the end of the last tutorial, I went ahead and applied a texture to our book and I want to try to focus in on this area here. As you can see, it's uh, it's very stretched. It does not resemble the same level of clarity as, say, this, the cover does when I click off of it. And that is because these, these right here have been, well, essentially they've been compressed. What we need to do is we need to stretch these out to overcome that compressed look and essentially put more of our texture map in this these areas. And I don't want to do that. I want split screen. There we are. Essentially, I want to let me click on this one. This is the cover. I want to move that out of the way. These offending ones down here are the ones I need to focus in on and I need to stretch them out. So, I'm going to use edges here. And I will select these. And all I'm going to do is drag it out. You know what, let me come down to, let me come up here to the top, you'll be able to see it easier. This is what, I, I'm going to undo it so you see what I did. Control Z and then Control R to redo it. Okay, now I'm going to click off those and now I'm going to select all but that one and pull that one out. Click off that. Pull that one out. Okay, you know what I need to do? It looks like I'm pulling them out a long way. I'm really not in relation to the scale of this. So let me pull them out much further. And let me pull these out. I'm going to have to zoom in here. There we go. That one especially. You see the big difference there. Now let me uh, click off of that one and stretch these last two. Yep. And let me stretch this last one. Now you see all I've done is essentially put more of our paper texture onto th this face here. Be and I've done that by making the face larger. So let me select the top cover of my book and move it over now. And I'm doing this because now they will match right up. I wish I, maybe I, you know what, let me experiment here. Might be able to turn on snapping. Let me see if this point will, oops. Uh, I guess it's not uh, snapping. Let me try snapping and turn to point mode. Um, control A to, I don't know. You know, here's what I'll do. I'll select that. Now convert the selection to points. Let's see if I can, no. I guess you can't. Oh well, that was an interesting experiment. I guess I'll just have to do it manually. Okay, let's click off and look at that. We've got a nice smooth blend between uh, the binding here and the top of the page. Now, I'm not going to do the back. You've seen what uh, the process 
here on the the front and you can do the back as you like okay let's click back on our book cover let me zoom out I want to enable my texture I want to make sure I don't have anything overlapping okay now I'm just going to grab this now this is the inside of the book cover no one's going to see that I don't care about that so I'm not going to worry about it and this is going to be the bottom and the inside surfaces and I'm not going to worry about those it would take too much time in this tutorial to do the whole thing Oh, that's okay. Okay, I'll just put these here. Okay, let's come back to full screen. Click off of it, and that looks pretty good. I'm not worried about this because this is not the texture that I'm going to end up with. Okay, let's save that. Uh, let's let's try this let's select our pages and come over here to our UV layout and I'm gonna save this as pages now I'm gonna come over here in Photoshop alright so here we are in Photoshop I'm just gonna drag my picture my uh, UV map that I created in hexagon right in here in the Photoshop I'm gonna create a new layer on top of that and uh, I'm gonna create a texture for this that will look like pages and uh, first I need to fill in this new layer that I made I'm gonna fill it in with white I'm gonna hit control delete now I'm gonna come up here to filter noise add noise and I really have no idea what exact level I want so I can't really say uh, give you a number or anything like that oh I guess that looks good I guess I do want uh, Gaussian and monochromatic because I don't want color to it I'm gonna hit OK now I'm gonna come up here to filter blur and motion blur and I wanna have my angle at 90 degrees and I want to get rid of this fuzzy fuzziness in the middle so I probably want to crank it up all the way there we are now I'm gonna come back to filter and noise and I'm gonna add just a little bit of noise I mean just a tiny little bit let me just I probably want a setting of like maybe one or two and one is a little bit much let me back that off there we are let's look at the before and after okay I like that um, if you any of you are using uh, C uh, the CS versions of Photoshop I'm gonna use my bridge tool my bridge program because I wanna bring into this another uh, photograph and use a blending mode and here we are into bridge let me adjust it to fit my uh, video screen here okay I want to go to my textures now I'm gonna use a metal texture for this for what I want metal and I've got a whole slew of textures I can choose from I essentially want something that's gonna add a lot of grungy color to it make this make the pages look kind of well-worn and I like that I will bring this one into Photoshop and I will drag it onto my paper pages that I created I don't need that let me maximize this 
And I'm just going to use as much of this as I can on here. Now that looks nice. Now I'm just going to adjust the blending mode. I'll start with darken. I'll probably want to end up on screen or overlay or something. We'll see. I like this mode, but it doesn't give me enough color. But you show it. But you see, it shows some some wear on these edges here. I like that. But that's overlay. Uh, that doesn't look good. Well, that gives me some color, which is nice. Okay, I'm going to go with uh, overlay. But I'm going to duplicate that. And let's try another blending mode. To see if we can uh, bring some color in. Color burn looks good if we tone it down a little bit. We can uh, bring in some color. Color burn, I'll keep that in the back of my mind. Let's see what other options we've got. Overlay again. Ooh, hard light. Let's bring the color down a little bit. No. Oh, I like the uh, color burn. Let's bring that uh, in intensity down a little bit. Okay, I like that. These will be our pages. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to add another layer on top of that. And I want to choose a kind of a desaturated orangey gray color. Yeah, I want a little bit more saturation. There we are. Okay, I'm going to Alt Delete to fill that in. Now let's try color. Luminosity, color, Ooh, saturation, hue, color. Oh, I like saturation. And I'll just bring that effect down a little bit. I like that. Let's do before and after. Okay, I like that. So I will come here and save this. Save as. Uh, okay, I'll save that as pages, but I also want to save a JPEG. Okay, let's come back here and do hexagon and apply our texture to our pages. I mean, I got I have to hide Adobe Photoshop. It likes to poke through the background. Okay, there we are. And uh, pages. Let's create a new texture. Call it pages. And I want to add a texture map. And it was a JPEG that I created. Move this out of the way. We're we're done with our modeling for now. Now, when you choose a texture map, a couple of uh, options are available to you. Right down here, specifically the modulate. Uh, well, let me show you what that does. If you just use decal, it shows you just the texture map. If you show, if you choose modulate, now what it allows you to do allows you to blend it with it whatever color you want. And uh, I guess you can adjust the spec the spread of the specular color. And so whatever color you choose, that also is projected onto your texture map. Well, I don't want modulate. I want decal. So. I'll choose decal. Let's uh, click off of that and let's have a look here at what our pages look like. Okay, that looks pretty good except there is uh, we've got something that's reversed. Notice how this dark line comes here but it doesn't start here. But what it does do is it starts here, starts here, going this direction, but it doesn't meet up here. So that tells me that this, let me turn this off, these front edges of pages right here, I need to take all this whole selection 
and flip it around. So let's come here to split screen, select our pages, and I thought I'd spotted this when we were first laying this out, but I, I missed it, so we'll take care of it now. So I will just flip it 180. Let's come here to full screen, click off. And I completely missed it. Now it needs to be rever um, reversed, uh, flipped vertically. Yeah, they match up. This, this line down here and this line up here, if we flip this downwards, then this line will meet up with that line. So back into split screen, select our pages, select all of these. Um, how am I going to do this? Okay, the easiest way to do that is we use the um, the rotate tool to flip it 180 degrees. Now I'm going to select these and they need to be flipped from top to bottom so I'm going to choose a, whoops, wrong one. I need to choose this view, full screen, Reselect them. Now watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to use the vertical scaling tool and I'm going to reverse all of them uh, all at the same time. Let's come back here. Select this one. Full screen and look at that. They all line up. <laughs> look at that. Seamless. They all line up perfectly. And that's exactly what I want. Okay, I like that. Before I ruin it, I better save it. So we are done with our pages. Now let's come to our book cover. And what I want to do is go to split screen. And I want to save this bitmap. I'll hide my texture. Save this bitmap, uh, this UV map, excuse me. And we will use this in Photoshop and get a little creative. Before I do that, I think I might want to take these UVs here. Uh, wait a minute. Let me select all of these, including these. Let me hide my pages. Select that one, select that. I'm going to hide those, select that, unhide everything. I'm going to take these, and because these really don't matter too much, I'm going to put them back over here. And there we are. Okay, our UV map is finished. Let me show my grid. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to click on this little camera here. And this is going to be cover. And I'm going to end this tutorial here. And the next one and final one, we will be creating a book cover for this in Photoshop and then coming back here in view, in uh, Hexagon, excuse me, and applying it and looking at our finished product. So thanks for watching here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.